Hi, I'm Neeraj Basin. Today I am at Siri Kakulam, where we are going to see the rebirth of age-old food grain called millet. We are at Kota Baleru village. It's about tribal village, PTG. It's so, Savara, uh, locally called Savara community. It's a homogeneous. So, about 50 uh, households live in this village. Uh, we are at Padma's house now. Uh, Padma is now uh, preparing a uh, fox style uh, millet, locally called Korra. Korra Java she is preparing it. All the tribal families started growing it, revivaling it because of now they are realizing it what the importance of the food what we are eating exactly now. In earlier times, everyone was eating millets all day long. But since the 80s of the last century, subsided rice entered the market. It only cost 2 rupees per kilogram. This drastically changed the eating patterns of the people here. Whatever we are consuming, there are only two items. One is paddy rice, the other one is wheat. And also the fast food uh, and Western culture also we adopted much. And the, all the noodles, and the bakery items. Millets was seen as food for the poor people. Rice and wheat were seen as luxurious, tasty and refined. This change to rice and wheat did not go without consequences. Compared to 30 years ago, there are much more people overweight and suffering from diabetes. Nowadays, people are starting to appreciate millets as healthy and nutritious food again. That is why Hivos is working together with Vasan on a project to reintroduce millets as a staple food. An example of this is this meal, which school children receive as their standard lunch meal now. When we have introduced millets in schools, so uh, the primary objective is because it's very healthy. It is something which can be locally grown and procured and produced and then supplied. And something which you can have it every time, you know. It's not something you have to buy from somewhere and then have it and give it to kids. It's something which is part of the culture and very healthy. It's a grain, you know, you can make many things out of it. You can have a paisam, you can have a kheer out of it, you can have a halwa out of it. So it depends what they have given earlier, what they are giving now. Some kids like something salty, some kids like sweet. So you, you keep shuffling so that kids keep liking it. Hivos and Vasan are also making sure these crops can be harvested again. Another advantage of millet is that they need less water than rice. Also, less fertilizers and insecticides are needed. In the country, very custom. Nor for yale. Tarvata, teas in the teas, parpan chayale. Tarvata, donale, mali, natale, a veniche yale, quat coyale, no chale, veniche yale. Idonuko, matam veteran chiridania late, veteran peace kelly, waka kankunta than day, kanka teas coni, a kanka to visit netlaganate, monkey a bizar under the waksar, colip mockal teas kun to seripadi. Waksar and sarlagani, colip mockal teas kun at late, seripadi, Tarvata, pantochinapu, a teas cochisi, a pantan coast con teas cochi, motukodangani, motukodam, nuch conches contamant. Millets are difficult to process for consumption. People no longer have time to do all this by hand. This also led to people choosing ready to use rice rather than millets in the last years. So women have to spend so much time if they want to make some dish out of it, you know. So that in, in the modern uh, times, people don't want to do. Like, a, a, probably a woman like me don't want to do. In order to help people to eat millets again, you need a program in which every party benefits. The farmer discovers that it is profitable to grow millets because the costs are lower and the profits higher than rice. The entrepreneur who cleans, sort and peels the millets can keep the costs low and make a profit when processing large quantities. And finally, the people who eat the millets will feel healthier and more satisfied. So if we reach local food security, simultaneously you will reach national food security. Thank you. It smells really great. Hmm? Yeah. Like it? Yeah, seriously. Chala bagundi. It's really good. It's really tasty.